So if you go about doing all the greatest surveys in the world and have the best digital presence and the most awesome social media and everything's shiny and awesome, but your customers are coming in the door to have a problem solved, but your staff are not incentivized to solve that problem, you're just wasting your time. I forgot to do the drink thing as well. Mediterranean tonic and ruby red grapefruit, obviously, because it's super healthy then. Correct. I think the further that the decisions away are away from the customer, the worse off the experience. So all customer complaints are come down to a, um, a miscommunication or a missed expectation. And I think that's sometimes the trap with marketing. They think that customers dream of your company all day long. And look, unless it's coffee, I'm a high level addict. Unless it's a coffee company, that's true. Or a gin company, right? I'm not thinking about them 24 <laughs> They just want it to work. My overarching, I guess, value in CX is how many problems have you solved today for customers? So every issue that you actually have is an opportunity. I would be a millionaire today for every time that someone in the support team didn't know about a marketing campaign. I'm Lean Six Sigma qualified uh, and also change management. So the more you do that, the cadence of problem solving is quicker and the CX person can generate more value. Building up that sidepock view, you've basically got a very rough validation model that you can then take to the 27 teams who are involved and say, is this right? Oh, like the catch-all silver bullet that I always say doesn't exist, <laughs> but you want one anyway. Every department will have a list, I call it the back of the napkin list, of things they want to fix for customers but never seem to have time to do. At the end of the day, senior leadership like money and they like to know where they can save money and they like to know where they can make money. And the biggest tip I've got is tie your work back to the dollars and cents of the business.